We're excited to introduce to you the latest addition to GE Healthcare's Mac family of touchscreen ECGs, the Mac 5. The new Mac 5 is simple, precise, and secure. It allows users of all experience levels to acquire high quality ECGs with just a few touches of the screen. The Mac 5 was designed to provide the same user experience and clinical excellence as our other Mac models, the Mac 7 and MacView 360, in a more cost-conscious and compact design. The device is available in two options. The Mac 5 will provide a thermal print-capable device, while the Mac Lite will feature a smaller paperless model with wireless transmission capabilities. Both models can be placed on a trolley or have handles to provide easy transportation of the devices within or outside of your hospital walls. Utilizing our patented Marquet 12 SL algorithm, the Mac 5 provides the same clinical excellence you have come to depend on in our ECG management devices and systems for the past 30 years. In this introduction video, we'll take a closer look at the Mac 5 and its operating system. Please take a moment to review the full operator's manual that came with your system prior to utilizing the device. Let's take a quick look at the external features of the device. The patient ECG cable is located on the right-hand side of the device, while the posterior of the device provides access to the two USB ports, the Ethernet port, the DC power inlet, battery door, and equal potential grounding plug. The left side of the device provides access to the printer door on the standard Mac 5 model. The Mac 5 Lite does not support printing. To load the printing paper in the Mac 5, press the printer door button. Slide in the new pad of paper with the hole facing the top left corner into the paper drawer. Pull the top page of the ream over the roller bar, aligning between the two sides of the door, and then close tightly. The top surface of the device contains the touchscreen, power button, and LED battery indicators. Once the device is powered on, the Mac 5 can provide several authentication methods, including full authentication with username and password, technician ID authentication, LDAP authentication, or a default authentication. Your clinical administration team will have configured the authentication method prior to use. There are several ways to begin a new patient test. Depending on your healthcare facility, the Mac 5 can support order ADT retrieval with or without patient barcode scanning. To start a new patient, simply scan the patient's barcode or select the appropriate order from the order tab. The order interface is located on the right side of the screen. To filter the order locations, tap the filter icon. You can also expand the screen to view more order information. To select the order you wish to use, double tap the order. The order will then automatically populate the appropriate patient demographic fields. You can also query patient ADT information by typing in the patient ID and searching. If no order or ADT interface is established or this information is not available, the user can manually enter the patient demographics by tapping the appropriate demographic field and typing in the information with the touchscreen keyboard. Be sure to always include the patient's gender and age, as these two values are critical to the interpretive statements in the 12SL analysis program. Once the patient data fields are complete, press the Save tab. Please review your facility's process for proper ECG electrode placement and protocols. Once you begin attaching the skin electrodes, the hookup advisor will appear on the screen. If possible, begin with Lead RA to ensure prompt hookup advisor activation. The individual leads will change color from red, yellow, to green depending on the quality of the connection. An overall quality indicator is located below the hookup advisor. Use the touchscreen to acquire the ECG when appropriate. A large print preview screen will populate. If the user does not like the preview image, simply press the reject button. The user will return to the live home screen and will be able to reacquire as needed. Once the user is satisfied with the ECG preview image, press the Accept icon. Depending on your Mac 5 model and configuration, the device will now print, transmit, and or store the ECG. To end the current patient, simply press the green Done icon. 
the user will be prompted to either continue with the same patient or start a new patient. Once disconnected from the current patient for 30 seconds, the smart acquisition software will recognize a new patient connection and warn the end user if previous patient demographics were retained. Always ensure you are using the correct patient demographics for your current patient. If you purchase the Advanced Full Disclosure option, the device will ship with it enabled. The Full Disclosure icon is located in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once your patient is connected, the device will start recording up to 5 minutes of Full Disclosure data. To switch from the live screen, tap the Full Disclosure icon. You will now be able to view the live Full Disclosure recording. To select a 10 second ECG from this screen, Simply tap anywhere within the waveform to select the 10 seconds to be used in analysis. Once chosen, tap the Preview ECG icon. You also have the ability to print a full disclosure report. First, select which lead you would like to print, then tap the Full Disclosure Report icon. The system will print up to 5 minutes of single lead rhythm. Once the 5 minutes has been acquired, the system will stop recording. The user can tap the restart icon to resume recording. Note, the previous five minutes of data will be discarded. If the ACS critical value option was bought and activated, the user can enable this feature before acquiring an ECG. This option records a resting ECG with an ACS or acute coronary syndrome interpretation statement. Please refer to the Marquette 12SL ECG Analysis Program Physician Guide for activation guidance. If you enable this option, it will stay enabled for the subsequent patient tests. It must be enabled again for the next patient. The critical value notification text will display when configured critical value thresholds are met or prescribed critical conditions are detected. By default, critical value notifications are enabled. If you do not want to be notified when a threshold for a specific critical value has been met, disable the status setting for the corresponding critical value under the device system settings.